What's going on guys? Mecca Ish here and from Funko Pop. We have the Loot Crate exclusive Tracer variant from Overwatch. Let's do it. Welcome back guys to another Funko Pop video review and from Overwatch I have the Tracer variant which is Tracer in her sporty skin. Now this variant is a Loot Crate exclusive figure. Now I am not yet subscribed to the Loot Crate subscription service. I think I'm definitely going to have to jump on board because if there's a chance I'm going to get more Overwatch Overwatch, Overwatch exclusive pop figures or any Funko Pop exclusives, I should definitely get on with that loot crate already. But this is awesome, and this is my favorite skin to use of Tracers in the game, so I'm so happy to have this in hand. We got here your standard window box packaging with the Pop Games logo on the top left. You have the Overwatch logo in the center, number 92 for Tracer, and a great window view of Tracer in her variant outfit. You can see the sticker, Loot Crate Exclusive, and you have artwork there of the original Tracer's costume, and then you have her name at the bottom. On this side, you have more of the same, and on this side, you have the full image of that nice artwork that we've seen before in the original Tracer box. And on the back, you have the entire wave of the Overwatch Funko Pop figures that I have already reviewed. So please check out that video. And uh, let's take this Sporty Skin variant Tracer outside of the box and let's see what she's all about. So here is the Sporty Skin variant Tracer outside of the box and she looks very cool. Again, this is my favorite costume of hers to use in the game. But I wanted to show you guys right from the beginning just a comparison between this variant and Tracer in her original costume. So as you can see, they share the exact same sculpt, so nothing's gonna be different. It's a great looking sculpt, especially with that trademark hair of hers. And I love the translucent glasses, but I do see some flaws in the paint application, which I'm gonna talk about. But just wanted to point out the sculpt is exactly the same. The only thing different is the color scheme and the paint application. So as you can see, this Tracer also comes with a display stand like the other Tracer, so she doesn't take a shelf dive in her future. She's a four inch Funko Pop figure, but to the top of that pointy iconic hair of hers, she's almost five inches if you can believe that. Paint, you can see the brown paint here is the same as the other one, but it looks like somebody took a black marker to the front of her hair and just dotted all across, so that's kind of a bummer. Now going to the side by her sideburns, I really wish they painted the brown a little bit fuller there. You can see how there's some of that flesh tone paint where there should be brown hair paint. And uh, the sculpt of her earrings looks very nice. You can see that the paint applications, they have the silver uh, nicely done within the sculpt. Now this is just a sloppy job from the back of her hair going downward. But other than that, the rest of the hair looks nice. Now she has these awesome looking goggles with the green translucent plastic there. Now it's a bright green translucent plastic, right? Now the glue at the corners where the lens meets the goggle sculpt, you can see some of the glue smudged right there. And you got the same thing going on right there. Look how horrible that looks. You can see the glue underneath the plastic just smudged right there. And it's the same thing with the other tracer but because she has a darker orange plastic being used it's not as noticeable other than that the paint applied on the rest of the sculpt of her goggles is nicely done you got the gray with the dark gray it looks very cool nice and clean now, taking a look at her body you can see she has her chronal accelerator now the first time i reviewed tracer i was not familiar with the character and i didn't know what the heck this was that caused her to do her blink and her recall but winston created this device here that you see on the front and on the back and that is called a chrono accelerator. He mentions it at the intro of Overwatch. I wish the paint was done a little bit better. Now you can see the ring. Now the other one had the nice blue coming out of a silver paint applicated uh, chrono accelerator. Here we have all black. Now the black is done well enough, but the blue looks a little off to me. You can see, now I wish the blue was separated a little bit better from that black ring. And then you have the bright blue right in the center. But you know, this is this could be just my version. Yours could be a lot better because that's the thing with these Funko. Sometimes you could get two of the same figure and they can have totally different paint applications. But other than that, we have a great character design of the black, the white, and the green. I love that green tracer, her name right across her left leg. That looks very cool. And then you have a bright green sneakers, which are nicely done. And you have the black at the bottom. So you can see some of the white over her right thigh sprayed over onto the black. It's very minor, but still you want a better job, especially the white of her cuffs here on her jacket. I wish that was done a little bit brighter. It looks a little faded and especially on her hands and on her knuckles could have been done fuller. Now looking toward the back, it looks like a chrono accelerator on the back is painted a little bit better than it is on the front. Then you have this nice black uh, leggings 
and I love those green shoes. Very cool. Now, just like with the other Tracer, she has two symbols, one on each of her shoulders. You have here the Union Jack of her country, Great Britain. And you can see on her other shoulder, she has the symbol of the Royal Air Force. Now, I wish the paint applications were a lot better on this Loot Crate exclusive figure than it actually is. I mean, you would think that an exclusive figure would have better paint applications than a usual figure. This is not the case. The paint applications on this Tracer is pretty standard for a Funko Pop figure. So there you have it, guys. My video review of the Funko Pop overwatch loot crate exclusive tracer in her sporty skin outfit so so awesome to have this in my collection i absolutely love the design i just wish the paint applications on this figure for an exclusive figure was a lot better and hopefully for you guys it will be but thank you so much for hanging out with me guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up and check out my channel for other reviews i have done i have so many cool things coming your way so make sure you guys like subscribe comment and share you know what to do peace